we were invited by the president to try to meet, have some meeting of the minds, where parliamentarians' rule could be, um, be brought to bear on the intractable crime problem. As far as I'm aware, uh, that our response at the government was yes. There's, you know, we had a number of stumbling blocks. Parliamentarians know what their role is, but there were stumbling blocks and disagreements. And if our other colleagues are willing to sit and talk with us um, outside of the parliament, we we'll would be happy to do that. And we took steps immediately to do that. But of course, we can only speak for ourselves. Because you may recall that when I said that uh, we would, the first thing we got was agreement that we would meet after the budget. Because this thing was initiated just on the cusp of the budget coming into being. And both of us, leadership of the parliament said, after the budget. I was not surprised when during the budget debate, my colleagues started making a fuss that the government has not responded. That was the day we were, we were, we were in parliament going, going through the budget. The budget had not yet passed the, low, passed the lower house, far less the upper house. But they were throwing out this thing about the government's recalcitrance in the matter. It just so happened, it was the same day that I wrote to the opposition leader, identifying the um, four people who would take part in these discussions. That very day, I sent let out the morning and the afternoon, there was a press conference where the government was being attacked and being accused of um, not being serious about it. When the opposition leader is telling me that unless the condition is met where Gary Griffith is part of a team to talk at being meeting, that should tell you all you need to know, you know. That should tell you all, all you need to know. Because I want to draw to your attention, all of you. It was the Police Service Commission, not me, not me as the Prime Minister, not me as Minister of National Security, Chairman of National Security Council. It was the Police Service Commission that found and sent former appeal court judge Stanley John to go to the police service in the face of allegations and documentation and report back to the police service commission what he sees is going on in the police service, particularly in the area of the management of firearms and ammunition in this country. That is an undisputed fact. When Justice Stanley John carried out that assignment for the commission, he did a very unusual thing. He sent a copy of his report to the prime minister. And he justified that by saying he was so concerned about what he saw and that national security was being so impacted that he thought on his own that the chairman of the National Security Council must be aware of what he saw. So even as he sent his report to the Police Service Commission, he sent a copy to the Prime Minister. And in that report, two things should come to your attention. One is that he said he saw a well-oiled criminal enterprise, and two, he recommended criminal investigation for that department. That is his report to the Police Service Commission. The government had seen it fit not to renew the contract of Gary Griffith. And you come here to tell me now that if we're going to have crime talks on left Gary Griffith there, they can't have no crime talks. Need I tell you any more? 